Uh, for this one I've taken the, the whole skull and I'll um, boil the skull out and then bleach it. So I actually might do a step by step on how I how I do that actually. I'll do a Euro Euro mount. Um, but yeah. Oh, good day. Good down the hill Ron. Okay, back from the hunt and I have decided to go just for a traditional Euro mount for the 12 pointer. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly show you well, in video how I do it and yeah it might help some of you guys with preparing your your animals that you harvest. Okay, not an expert, I reached out to Brinkson's Hunting Adventures. He pointed me in the direction of a YouTube video called by Hunt Shack. Uh, and they just gave you a bit of a rundown. So I'm gonna use a similar method to that. The secret by the sounds of it is not to boil the hair, just to let it simmer. But uh, we'll see how we go. First step, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got three heads to prepare. Uh, they've just been bagged up for transport. I'll take this off and then I'll start removing all the head skin, remove the lower jaw, and just give it as much of a clean up as I can. Ready for start boiling or simmering. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, well there's the head cleaned up, well, skin's off, jaw's off, what I'll do now is remove the eyeballs and then just go through and give it a bit more of a clean up where I can. So we'll keep on moving. Okay, so what I've done here is just clean the head up and then I've added dishwashing detergent and around 500 grams of salt and what I'm going to do is just let this simmer for a couple hours and then by then I should be able to scrape a fair bit of the meat off. So we'll just let it simmer away and then we'll check it in a couple hours. Okay, so this has just gone through the second boil. Uh, I didn't actually film it, but on the second one I added also salt, detergent, and bicarbonate soda. So, once again, just have a pick, clean it off. What you can do is use a gurney to give it a good wash down. Uh, the only problem is at my place it's not that easy to spray flesh and brain around the place, so I'll just have a pick with a knife. Okay, and this is the finished product. These are three scales. It definitely helped doing the old simmer method. Previously when I've um, boiled heads, you know, you got the pot bubbling away. And what happens is all the nose cartilage and all this around here, the nose and that, all breaks down. This all breaks. These ones here have all stayed intact. Uh, with the simmer method, it probably does take a little bit longer just picking off some of the excess meat. But yeah, that detergent and uh, salt seems to, seems to do the trick. Okay, so there's the three scales. Next step is we're gonna try and mount them. Okay, these are the two shields that I've bought to mount my scalps on. So I bought these from a guy here locally in Brizzy. So if you are interested in purchasing one, what I'll do is I'll put up his email address on the screen now. But yeah, these are made out of pine and what I'm gonna do is stain them to give it um, a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a different look, so. So what I'm using is just a spirit based uh, interior stain in a Jara colour. So we'll give it a go and see how it turns out. Okay, so that's the, the finished shield. Looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is just drill a hole through here. Then all I'm gonna do is use a screw. And then run the screw through into the back of the skull here. So, let's mark it up and then we'll drill it.
Okay, and that there is the finished product. So from shooting the deer, boiling the head, and then mounting it on the shield. So I'm pretty wrapped with that. I reckon it looks really good. And it'll, um, yeah, it's going to look great in my office. So now I'll just let it fully dry, and then I'll hang it up. Okay guys, well that wraps up another video. If you enjoyed this, then make sure to check out my um, DIY for making a deer rug at home. Another pretty cool, easy little uh, skill to learn. So check it out, and we'll catch you on the next video.